Hi, this is Steve Hosher with Razor Gauge, and uh, today I'm going to talk about troubleshooting problems with scanning on the Razor Optimal. Uh, the scanning uh, is when we scan the board for the length and the location of the crayon marks. Um, that's done with what we call the lift carriage. That's this pusher part here that lifts up and down. The lift carriage has two sensors, the uh, crayon sensor and the board sensor, which is down in here. Um, the crayon sensor picks up the crayon marks and the board sensor picks up the beginning and the end of the piece of stock. So if either of those is out of adjustment, uh, it won't scan properly. So let's look at how we can diagnose problems with that. Uh, the first thing to do is to get the pusher out away from the saw where you can work on it and see everything. So to do that, you have the razor gauge software. You push the button that says saw stop. So I'm going to push that. And then the first thing I'm going to do is move this back to where it's in a place where I can work on it. So I'm going to enter a number, make sure it says move only, press go, and it moves back. Um, so here it is. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to lift this pusher up. So I'm going to push the button that says pusher up. I'm going to move this forward just a little bit so that it's in the frame a little bit better. So now the lift carriage is up and here are the sensors. Now you can see this red dot. That is the dot that's generated by the board sensor and that's the sensor that picks up the edge of the board. See how when I move the board under the edge sensor the light turns on and off, the amber light. The green LED says that that sensor has power. The amber one says that we've sensed the board. Now if that doesn't uh, happen, if you don't see that transition when you move the board under it, there's a little screw there and you just turn that until you can see the edge of the board. Um, and that's how you adjust the board sensor. Now the uh, crayon sensor right here, it also has a little dot, but you can't see it unless there's crayon underneath it. So I've got this board that has a little crayon mark, and I'm going to move it until I see it. Now here's the mark. Now as I move it slowly through there, you can see that light being generated from the crayon sensor uh, reflecting off the, the uh, crayon mark. So now when the uh, crayon mark passes under it you should see a light transition on this switch. So we'll look at this back side of it. Here's an LED that says we have power and then when we move you can see the red LED flash when the crayon mark goes under it. Now if that's not happening, then this needs to be adjusted. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to adjust the crayon sensor. I have a board with a crayon mark. I put it under the sensor and I move it until I can see the, uh, the light from the crayon sensor reflecting off of the uh, crayon mark. Now don't confuse this mark with the red light. The red light is for the edge sensor. We're looking for the kind of the reflection off the crayon mark that you can't see unless the crayon is underneath the, the sensor. So once you have it there, you take uh, a pen or I've got an Allen wrench and we're going to push the button labeled mark. It's the one closest to the operator and it's down inside here. So I push that and hold it for about four seconds and then I release it. Then I move the board off the uh, crayon mark and just onto the where the sensor is seeing the board and I push the background button. It's the one right next to it. Until the green light flashes and then, then it'll stay on. So now when I move the crayon underneath the sensor the red light 
flashes and we've adjusted the crayon sensor. Now once you've made sure that the sensors are picking up the signal, the next thing we want to do is make sure that the signal is getting all the way back to the software so that it knows to stop the uh, carriage when it sees the end of the board and it can pick up all the crayon marks. So one way we can do that is to press the diagnostics button on the main screen. We press that and here it says last board scan uh, from scanner. So I'm going to clear this and now we have no information. Now when I put the board, push the board under the edge sensor and the crayon sensor, there I, I just push the edge of the board under the edge sensor and it says board sensor on. Now I'm going to pull it away and it says board sensor off. That means the signal is going to the crayon board and to the PC and it's making its way to the software so we're getting all the signals here. Now I'm going to push the crayon mark under the uh, crayon sensor and there you'll see that it went on and off as the line went underneath the crayon. Now if there's something wrong you may not be getting these signals here. So if the sensors are, you see the LEDs going on and off on the sensors but it's not showing up up here, let's go look at the crayon board and see okay, what's so going on. So here's the crayon board in the tower enclosure that sits behind the Razor Optimal. Um, so this cable and this cable are the two sensor cables coming from the lift carriage. Uh, the top and they're labeled. The, uh, the circuit board is labeled here. You can see that it says board sensor. You may not be able to see it in the video but when you're looking at it you'll see it. Board sensor and then all the wire colors are listed and then crayon and all the uh, wire colors are listed. So when you push the board under the board sensor you'll see this LED come on. And there as we move the board underneath you'll see that light flash. Um, now when the crayon line goes under the crayon sensor you'll see this LED come on and off. Like that. If that's not happening you're going to want to check to make sure all these wires are tight and that these screws aren't tightened down on the insulation but are actually on the wire. And you want to make sure they're all in there nice and snug on both of these. Um, and then you'll want to look at the cable uh, out at the sensor and make sure it, the, the connector is screwed all the way in. So um, if these are working and you're not getting the signal back at the PC, you'll want to make sure this communication cable is plugged in and that it's plugged into the Another motherboard thing that, down uh, here. affects the scanning is the lift carriage speed. Uh, when it comes up and it slams and the whole thing vibrates, it can throw off the scanning and it certainly isn't good for the longevity of the switches. So it's an easy thing if your lift carriage is slamming up and down, it's easy to adjust. We have a flow control back here. I'm going to show you how to adjust that. So from the main screen, press saw stop and you can move the carriage to uh, a place that is handy to work on. There's a button here, push her up, push down. I can push this up, it's already up, push it down, and it shifts down. Now I've got it moving nice and slow right now, and that's the way it should be. But um, if I open the flow control, I'm going to just open that up. Now you'll see, I'll open them both up here, one's for up and one's for down. The one coming, this one, will adjust how fast it comes up because the air is exiting out of the air, uh, air cylinder and it's being restricted here. And this one uh, controls how fast it goes down. So I've opened them both up. Now I'll push the... See how it slams? We don't want that. So now I'm going to just tighten these back up. I'm just going to hit them both. Now I'll... Uh, I'm going to slow that a little more on the way down. There. And that's how you adjust the speed with which this lift carriage goes up and down and eliminate the slamming. 